Ron speaking. I have my parts laid out for uh, what I hope to use as an emergency light or lantern. Uh, this is a 555 timer and it's been uh, all the components for the timer have been set into a uh, IC breadboard from Radio Shack. Very handy for this kind of thing. And I'll be driving a uh, 2N3773 transistor uh, with that inductor, which is uh, the core is a T200 26 toroid. Uh, the wire is magnet wire, 28 gauge, 600 turns, and uh, of course, a little full wave bridge rectifier to drive my light bulb. Uh, previous videos I've, I've shown. Uh, I breadboarded this and uh, tested it out, and uh, this circuit will operate exactly as I expect. I've already tested it, and again, it's basically just a uh, timer-controlled EMF. So basically, the timer, the 555 chip, is just sending square waves uh, to the base of a transistor, turning off power to a inductor, and when the power is turned off, the inductor flashes voltage to a load. So what I've done is uh, I've, uh, I'm going to connect this battery pack up to the circuit. I'm going to wire the circuit up. I'm at 10.8 on the batteries and I'm going to hook up a kitchen thermometer and I, I'm going to figure some way to uh, hold it next to my transistor uh, to see if the temperature stays low enough to put into a plastic container. Uh, so I don't have to deal with uh, meltage. So I'm going to hook this up with my jumper cables and uh, I'll get right back to you. I'll start this up and we'll see how hot we get. I have my components wired up and uh, here's the temperature right now. I put a thermometer underneath that uh, transistor and I'll get ready to light my light bulb I put over here. Let me just turn the circuit on. All right, light bulb's on nicely, and uh, I'll go get a timer, and I'll set it for 30 minutes, and I'll see how we're doing after a while. All right, 30 minutes is up. My temperature is, uh, just looks like it's trying to clock over to 70 degrees under the transistor not quite this wasn't exactly a scientific test either uh, if it stays under 80 that's going to be great and it has because uh, I'm also busily uh, raising the ambient room temperature because I was cold down here so I turned down a heater while I was watching uh, Mr. Lang create a nice painting for me so uh, yeah, the circuit's gonna do great. Looks like looks like the soft plastic will be in no danger from uh, the transistor heating up. Nope, not at all. Half an hour and it only went up a couple degrees. That's really really good. Yeah, I can't even feel anything at all. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm still here. I thought I'd set the timer for another 30 minutes. And the temperature is still at 70 degrees. So this can definitely go into a soft plastic container without melting or warping anything. And uh, my, uh, my batteries, these are rechargeable batteries, so they're not as powerful as normal. They're only uh, 1.3 volts, really, is all I get out of these batteries and uh, the amp hours aren't quite as strong as alkaline batteries so after a solid hour I'm down by uh, a volt and uh, 0.3 not bad at all uh, still under load if I took it off load it would bounce up a little bit so I started out at 10.8 yeah yeah that's right okay not bad at all so that's been a solid hour and the quality of light uh, it's 
dimmed just slightly, but you can see that after an hour with uh, AA batteries, it's still doing great. I can see uh, shadows very clearly from this light. It lights up my room quite nicely. So uh, this circuit is a uh, big, big success. I'm very, very pleased with the 555 uh, timer controlling frequency and duty cycle to drive uh, inductors uh, to be very, very efficient at producing flyback voltage for small circuits such as an LED light, like this 8.5 watt light that is just lit for over an hour without heating the transistor hardly at all. Uh, only four degrees above room temperature. So that's pretty awesome. I know it said 63 to begin with, but I got cold. I turned up the heat in here. <laughs> So, awesome. I'm very happy with that. Uh, looks like a 12 volt battery pack would uh, give me quite a long runtime. So, uh, big success. This is Ron. See you later.